Okay. Let's get going. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, no, what have I done? Okay, I forgot to put display capture on. And that's in the wrong thing. Put that down. There we go. <laughs> Yay, professional streamer. Hello, Dre. Good to see you. Let's see what we can do for the people here. Let's see. I've got... Oh, yeah. This is all mouse. This is the last place, I believe. And I think I have to help... Help the... the... Wait a minute. Hi, Winter. Good to see you. How are you guys today? <coughs> to go see. Do we need to go back? I don't even know if we need to go back. Uh, Poochie! You're here! <laughs> Not much. Hi. Hey there. What's up? I brought you something. Tell me about the photo. No. Your dog. I'm so relieved that my friend is okay. Turns out she'd been waiting for me all this time at the place we used to meet. I'm so glad she's safe. How do you know that's the place she was? Um. What do I need to do? What is it label chief? Oh yeah, it's the it's the festival. I remember. Let's go back to town then. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, my mother-in-law was in town, which is why I didn't stream Wednesday or Saturday, but it's good. Oh. Well, let's fix that, why don't we? Thank you. Bring that down a bit. I really appreciate you saying that, because most people don't. What the? Yeah, you get to see all the things that we're updating. Let's move me over here. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. Ah, this way, this way. Time for the festival. Anyway, so my mother-in-law was in town. What are these things? And that's why I wasn't streaming yesterday or Wednesday. <laughs> yes, my mother-in-law was in town. Let's go chalk to the chalk, talk to the chief. Um, so we were we were busy, but it's good to be back. Stars are starting to fall, you know what that means. Star night is about to begin. Shall we walk to the festival together? Yes, please. All righty then, let's go. She's not bad. I don't know how she did it, but she watched both my kids and deep cleaned, like, my entire house. So, like, I'm lucky to have her, for sure. Mom, I can't believe we're really here! Okay. It's truly amazing. What a beautiful festival. What would you like to do? Uh, welcome to Star Night. Is it your first time here? What am I saying? Of course it's your first time here. Well, come on in. Make yourselves at home. Oh, and here's a little gift. We call it Libo Ramoon. It's a delicious bu bubbly drink in a fun glass bottle. I want one. Oh, look how happy he is. Oh, it's one of those things with the marble. Whoa, Mom, look. There's a little glass marble inside the top of the bottle. Guess who's getting that? Oh, how neat. When I was a little girl, we used to drink Ramun. I'm probably saying that wrong. A neighborhood boy once told me there was a way to get the marble out of the bottle without breaking it. But I'm pretty sure he just made that up. Mom, I think I should give this marble to Sue. Do you think she'd still want it for her collection, even though it's inside a bottle? It's very kind of you, dear. Yeah, Power Grandma for sure. I don't know how she does it. And yes, I'm sure she would much appreciate that. Okay then, let's go to Star Night. 
Hello, people. Fisher. Hi, Winston. Try your hand at Kingyo Sukui. If you <laughs> catch a goldfish, you can keep it as a pet. Would you like to play? Sure. Okay, here's your paper net. Paper? You're doing exercise? Congratulations, you caught a goldfish. Now you have your very own pet. Woo! Have you tried midnight tea before? We'll get you high. <laughs> It's a very special kind of tea that makes you dream the sweetest dreams you ever had, man. Hey, sugar baby. You guys are here! I missed you a lot! Rupert misses you too, even though he doesn't want to admit it. This tea is delicious. Everyone loves the tea. Hello, onion. Are you sweet onion? Smug onion. What do you want? Hi guys, thanks for helping me with the lanterns earlier. This place looks great. What's up? Well, I'm just painting portraits for folks and face paint for the kids. Best thing, hmm, I really like the syllabary donuts over at Pinkies. They're delicious. I... It's really hard for me to take his name seriously. Panky. Oh yes, No Holds Barred plays festivals too. Got any requests? Let's do a loot solo. Same old, same old. Little buds in the house. Let's get this party started. <laughs> you made it. I'm so happy you're here. I brought many different teas to share with folks tonight, but the most special tea of all, as you know, is our midnight tea. What's it like? Well, it tastes sweet, though there's no sugar. It will make you feel cozy and warm, as if you were at home. But the real reason it's so special is that after drinking it, you'll have the sweetest dreams you ever had. Why, though? Welcome back, Winter. <laughs> Do I want to drink the tea and just fall asleep? And stay asleep throughout the entire thing? Not yet. Oh, hello, Rupert. Oh, it's Sugar Baby's cousins, long time no see friends. It's been a beautiful night, though this humidity is terrible for my powdered wig. I'm sure. Oh, look at him! The little bears. Ah, oh, this is the good part. You find out that the villain wasn't actually a bad guy at all. Mom! Spoilers! He was just her long-lost nephew in disguise this whole time. Ma! Why are you always giving away the endings? Oh, I just wanted to make sure you understood because it's kind of complicated. No, it's not. But he hasn't even gotten to that part yet. <laughs> Sorry! Thanks, Mom! Oh, that's a doll. I was like, what's this guy on? Hey, you guys, glad you can make it. You're becoming a big part of the village. It's weird, it'd be weird not to see you here. What can I do? Bread. Except Panky isn't making the bread correctly. He isn't using the right ratio of flour and the leavening agent. So the optimal bread height is not being achieved. But bread height aside, the bread is very good. Too good. What are you doing? For the first time in ages, I'm taking a break. Actually, I'll tell you guys what I'm really doing. I'm secretly studying the science behind festival games. They're rigged. Let's just say the chief decides to bring out the beanbag tossing game. Check this out. If you flatten the beanbag before you toss it, you have a greater chance of knocking more things over. It's nothing more than maximizing surface area. I've got this in the bag. The beanbag! He beat me to it. I was just about to say that. What can I do for you? Nothing! Hi, can I have a beanie baby? Hi, glad you guys can make it. Did you ever get a fifth cat? I got something even better, actually. Her name is Peach. Hey! Uh, you're in luck. My plushies were selling like hotcakes, but... My hotcakes were selling like plushies! Hi! <laughs> Pinky. As I was saying, I nearly sold out, but I have one very special plushie left. 
It's yours for the low life price of 10 gold. Would you like to buy it? Oh, yeah. Ah, it's a panky doll. Hi, Tony. Does that little Liebel really think he can beat a bear in pancake eating contest? Ha, I'm a bear. Go, Grandpa, you can do it. Oh, my goodness. Buffkus. Well, that bear thinks he can beat me at eating pancakes. We'll ask him this. Did he ever eat so many pancakes that they had to carry him away in a stretcher? Because that was me. The last three years. <laughs> oh, goals. Well, I finally got everything prepared in time. These guys are about to have a pancake eating contest. Hello. Are you just eating cabbage from someone else's garden? Don't you judge me. Oh, I'm not judging. Okay. So do I drink the tea now? Do I talk to the chief? I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? I hope you're enjoying Star Night. Oh, it's lovely. What do I do? I just talk to everybody? We're doing calisthenics over here. Favorite time of year. Okay. Give me some tea. I just brew fruit, fresh pot of midnight tea. I guarantee it will give you the sweetest dreams. Okay, try some. Yes, please. You sure you're done? Yes. Give it to me. Sweet dreams. Ah, just lay down right here in the grass. Let me guess. Goth boy's knocking on my door. Never mind. I'm dreaming first. Sister? Oh, Sue? I'm like, do I have a sister? Sue! I have a marble for you! Chucks the bottle. This doesn't seem like a sweet dream. She's so sad. You're here. Look at all the nests. Is this the same person that sings the to the moon stuff? I need to turn this down. Because this game is so bright. Oh, we're going to all the different worlds. Oh, it's the cat and dog bakery. <laughs> Oh yeah, tea on the ceiling, I remember. So before it's time to leave, would you build a little world with me? Kids are flying. Really though, this is, I think it's the same person that did the music for To the Moon. The, the singer anyway. A big apple. Once this room was cold, but then I asked the sun to smile again. Our castle covered the expanse. With all the patches, pillows we could hold. The root was there. And or the toe, excuse me. I stay right by your side. We'll make it through the night. And I'll never have to feel alone again. So before it's time to leave, would you build a little world? You having trouble there, Mom? Uh-oh, who died? Did Sue die? If you stay right by my Shoot. side, we'll make it through the night, and we'll never have to feel alone again. So before it's time to leave, would you build a little world oh. with me? 
she left me her marbles. Now it's time for me to leave. I'm glad you built this little world. Shoo with me. Did she die or did she get released? <clears throat> Hi, goth boy. <laughs> they all leave eventually. Yummy, shut up. I'm crying. <laughs> I know how you feel. I know what it feels like to have someone leave you. She didn't leave me. You make it sound like she left on purpose. But she didn't. Well, the person who left me did have a choice, and I hurt because of it. So listen to me. How do you know that? Because he had the chance to come home, and he didn't. What if he stayed because people needed his help? Who could be more important than your own family? He left us alone. I'm sorry. I know how it feels to be left alone. But if you come with me, you'll never have to be alone again. Yummy. Go to bed. <laughs> come with me. I'll take care of you. You're freaky, and I don't want to. Okay. I'll go. Why? Uh, I, no! <laughs> well, game over. At the end, I'm a lost soul. I didn't even have a choice in that. Okay, Mom, wake up. Your son's dead. Where's my son? Oh, look. She's awake. Good morning, ma'am. I hope you slept well. Wasn't Star Night a blast? Thank you all. And yes, it was a very lovely event. I'm sorry. I just... I'm a bit distracted right now. Have any of you seen my son? Your son? Oh, that's right. You two are usually together, aren't you? Yes, but I just woke up and now he's gone. I have a terrible feeling about this. I have to find him. It's okay, ma'am. We'll help you however we can. What's going on? Someone's lost? Yes, her son's gone missing. Her son? You mean the child with the warrior hat? That's him. She woke up and he was just gone. That's terrible. I know. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Ma'am, I know you must be in a great hurry, but if I might make a suggestion, here in Morazori's forest, we have belief that when a loved one has gone missing, a uh, hikaribana will lead you back to them. A hikaribana? You mean the glowing flower? Yes. Do you know Winston? He was in town the other day, and he mentioned keeping one in his tent. Winston lives out by the river. He might lend you his hikaribana if you are unable to find your son. Thank you very much. I'll go there right away. Oh, and ma'am. Yes? The envoy are strong today, so please be careful. Thank you. I will be. Why, yes, they are, aren't they? Hello. You're kind of everywhere, aren't you? Freaky. Hi, Winston. Can I borrow your magic flower full of bugs? Well, hello there. It's been a while. Oh, Winston. I'm sorry to bother you. I don't know who else to turn to right now. Oh, no. What's happened? When I woke up after Star Night, my son was gone. Something feels wrong. I don't know how to explain it, but I just know he needs my help. The envoy. The labels at the inn told me that Hekiaribana could lead me to him. Come with me. I think I might be able to help. Have you heard the story of the Hikaribana? A little bit. Where I come from every year, Luna flies lay their eggs inside these big flowers. When they hatch, the Luna flies make the whole flower glow and lift them up as they fly for the first time. But there's something else special about these flowers. If you've lost someone dear to you and you think deeply about what they mean to you, the light of the Hikaribana will glow and lead you to them. Please take this and find your son. Thank you. 
He's right outside. Oh, and one more thing. Yes? You should start where his presence was the strongest. The place he spent most, the most time recently. Perhaps where he spent the most time alone with his thoughts. Good luck. Thank you. Hmm. So, his bedroom? Question mark? Can I bring this back with me? I guess I can. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that water? Why? Help. Oh, goodness. Mom, I'm scared. What's an x-ray? Am I here? And when the work is done, we'll all get to go home. Help. Hi there. Oh, you don't care about that. Hello. Enter the portal. Yes, that's what I'll do. But don't you worry. We're a strong bunch. We're eating ramen together and singing fight songs. Hmm. Why can't I remember what this is called? Uh, but I've always wanted to sit under one. Hun, are you in there? Is someone calling me? Just me. Wanted to let you know that I got I got ahead in early today. Tetsuya called in sick, so they need an extra hand on the floor. Oh, that's too bad. Well, your lunch is all ready. I just gotta grab it from the kitchen. Oh, I can grab it on the way out. You two gonna be okay picking up Grandma from the station? I think you should be fine. I'll let you know if we run into any trouble. I just gotta take care of some things around the house before we head out. Alrighty, see you later then. I love you. I love you too. Hmm. Now where did I put that to-do list? Gotta be around here somewhere. Newspaper. Mom's to-do list is a book. <laughs> Oh, find work paper, start laundry, water the plant. Water the plant? We can do that. Turn on the rice cooker before we leave. Oh, here it is. Time to get to work. Okay, well, can't do anything with the trash can, apparently. Beep. This is a dial tone. Um... Okay, well, I guess this way. That plant. Turn on the sink. Find a bucket. Because I don't think I still have a bucket. Oh, I do have an empty bucket. Rice cooker. The rice cooker is now on. Look at that lovely breakfast. Lollipops. <clears throat> Didn't it say start the laundry? Why couldn't I start the laundry? Laundry machine is now on. You're telling me that you filled it and you didn't turn it on? What's wrong with you? And the bathtub is full. A large bathtub. Yes, we'll take water. That's what we do. Okay, rice cooker, plant, laundry. And one other thing. What was the other thing? Why are there two beds? Well, the accounting forms and official papers, that's right. Work papers. I've done all the things. Now I can leave. Where's my child? Wait, that's the kitchen. 
Where is outside? Come back here and check off the list, maybe? Oh, telephone. Okay. Coming. Hello? Hello, ma'am. I'm calling from Sakuramachi Elementary with an urgent message about your son. My son? Is everything okay? He's okay right now. He's resting here at the nurse's office for the time being, but you're going to have to come and pick him up. My goodness, what happened? His teacher said he passed out during class. He also complained of a severe headache and nausea right before. I'm sure it's just a flu or something like that. I'm leaving right now. I'll be there as soon as I can. Thank you, ma'am. It's a tumor. We'll be taking your son to radiology to do a few x-rays. Won't be too long. He looks so different without his hat on. Mom, I'm scared. Okay, so yeah, cancer, because he definitely doesn't have that much hair, I don't think. It's all right, honey. I've had many x-rays before and it doesn't hurt at all. This way, ma'am. What's an x-ray? Well, do you remember that one episode of Nekopan Man where his friend gets eaten? Yeah. Do you remember where what Nekopan Man did to save the day? Hmm. He used x-ray goggles to see inside the giant's tummy. He could see that his friend was in there. So he tricked the giant into drinking so much soda he burped his friend out. Yep. The doctors are going to use an x-ray to look inside your tummy to see what's going on in there to make sure everything's okay. Does that mean I get to drink soda? We'll talk about that later. Clever child. Well, she's very good about sleeping, sitting upright. <clears throat> it's been hours. Oh, and he just walks right by her. not feeling good, Mom. I'm sorry, honey. I'll see if I can find something for us to do. I'm gonna make warrior hats. Two through seven. pre matrexid Oh, that's his... Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right? Same. Yep, fill the sink. That's what we do. And because we're a monster, we're going to leave the toilet seat up. Is there paper in the storage closet? Nope, the door's locked. Read it. Sure, storage area. But I'm not a patient. Let me in. Treatment guide. Hello, can I help you? Sorry, call my mistake. Do you have any activities? We do. The children's lounge has all sorts of things, but if your son isn't feeling well enough to leave the room, hmm, I believe there should be some paper and crayons in the drawers. Okay. Um, not ones that I'm familiar with, but I never treated cancer or anything like that. <clears throat> but we can do a quick look up. Dissodium is an interesting name because, oh, because that thing is, let's see. Mm. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Whoops. Pemetrexid disodium. I don't think it is. Pemetrexid. Yep, it's a cancer treatment. 
Cool. Yes. It's a type of chemo. Um, carboplatin, I'm guessing, is a, a pain med. Used to treat cancer of the ovaries. May also be used in other types of cancer as determined by your doctor. Yes. <clears throat> Mom, I had another bad dream. Your hair is so light here, but so dark here. Everyone's going to look at me funny. I don't want people to stare at me. Yep, because he went bald. That's why we made the hats. Oh, sweetie. You know, I just remembered something really important. Something your father and I have been meaning to teach you. What other people think doesn't matter. What is it? Well, what if I told you that with just a piece of paper, you can make a very special piece of armor? Really? Oh, yes. A helmet, in fact. A helmet that looks just like the helmet samurai used to wear in battle. Wow! Will you teach me, Mom, please? Of course. And lucky for you, I found some paper right in our room. Let's get to work. Yeah! Yeah, it, I'm, I'm glad they did too. <clears throat> also, I found out the um, person who made this game, she's the same person who did the music for... Uh, Plants vs. Zombies and a couple other things. So that explains why the music is so good. Mom, it's so cool! You look great. Like a real samurai. Thank you, Mom. Hi, Norse. How's your son doing today? He's hanging in there. Misses the rest of the family, but they'll be visiting soon. I think he'll especially be happy to see his dad. Uh-huh. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm on my break right now, and they restocked the vending machine, so not too shabby. Never underestimate the importance of a vending machine. For a nurse, anyway. That and a bathroom break. Green tea. Oh, I didn't even have to pay. I've been craving this all day, huh? I could have sworn I felt something. Oh my gosh! I have to find my son! Oh goodness. Okay, so this happened extremely recently. Yes, panic shift leader. Jackie? Oh, that's a little disorienting. Door's locked. Which one is my son's room? Can't go back in there, everything's collapsed. Hi. Mom, what's happening? Hold tight, dear, I'm almost there. I'm so scared. Yes, I'm sure. Everything's gonna be all right. So what, did that actually happen or is this symbolic and that just rocked our world? Ha 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 ha. Mom, did you see outside? There's water everywhere. I know, dear. That's why we have to stay indoors right now. Will we have to swim everywhere? The water will eventually return to normal, so no. Why was he in a different room? This isn't the same room. What about Dad? How is he going to get back from work? You don't need to worry about that. When it's Dad's time to come home, the plant has arranged for a special transportation. Why? <clears throat> they have all sorts of people helping out. The firemen, the police, even folks who have boats. I miss him. Me too, dear. But we're going to see him soon enough. I was just thinking. Speaking of water. Oh! Did I ever tell you about my friend from Fuji? No. Well, from what I've heard... Oh, Fiji. In Fiji, there's so much water that they do swim everywhere to their friends' houses, to the park, even to school. They just hop in the water and go. That's not helping, Mom. Won't their books get wet? I think everything they need is just kept at the school. 
which is pretty important if you think about it. I mean, you want a good education. You don't want to be watered down. You don't want it to be watered down. Eh, eh. Mom. <laughs> Hello? Hi, honey. It's me. Dad. Oh, honey, I'm so happy to hear from you. We all miss you so much. I miss you, too. I've been thinking about all of you. Uh-huh. Is everything all right? Dad? Our team is going to have to stay at the plant a bit longer. Dear. But don't you worry. We're a strong bunch. We're eating ramen together and singing fight songs. We'll pull together and protect our town. Dad dies, doesn't he? And when the work is done, we'll all get to go home. Dad never came home. <laughs> I love you so very much. I love you too. Dad! They're calling us back now. Take care of them for me. Let the kid talk to his dad. Dad! <laughs> oh, no. Hi there. The machines are all empty. I wonder if they just take a sample drinks out of the display. They're expired. How can it be this high up? People are saying the water washed away all the food and medicine from the ground floor. Yeah, that's not good. <clears throat> I think it's nice how they've been using the bulletin boards for those articles. Articles? The ones about your husband and all those other workers. I don't have much, but I wanted to say that if you ever needed anything, please let me know. Well, thanks. How'd you know <laughs> about my husband? Clipping from a newspaper article that's been fixed to the bulletin board. Read it. 18th of March, there would be grounds to suspect that many workers were not really aware of the dangers of their assignment. However, according to Prime Minister Naota Khan, the workers were prepared for death. Yeah, I called it. Hey, buddy, Dad's dead. He's almost finished for the day. Why don't you check back in a little bit? I'm sure he'd love a visit from you. It's a great and noble thing what your husband and those other workers did. They truly are heroes and will always be remembered. Yep. Not much of a comfort. I just can't imagine what it must have been like for those workers. I mean, our hospital's been hit pretty hard by all this. But I still feel like it's nothing compared to what they went through. Your husband's a real hero, staying behind like that to take care of the power plant. Probably best to keep clear of this area. The floor is starting to cave in from all the water damage. Yay! What am I supposed to do? Donate blood? I've clicked on everything. Caution extensive water damage. This floor is unsafe to walk on beyond this point. Do I just sit? Anything else? It's a lot for the kid to go through. And also explains why he ended up going with Goth Boy. Because it wasn't just Sue that left. Okay, can I progress <laughs> did I miss this one is that why 20th of March the nuclear power plant was damaged but the heroic efforts of the, and improvisations of its operators resulted in the successful shutdown of all four operating reactors <clears throat> 19th of March given that long term effects of exposure to high levels of ionizing, ionizing radiation would be more likely to appear before a natural death in older workers. Some of the younger workers were given the option to leave. However, a strong sense of loyalty to their co-workers and community prevented them from leaving the ill-faced nuclear power plant. Power plant. Power plant. Okay, I've read them all. Your son's all finished for the day and resting in the recovery room. Would you like to visit him now? Yes. He's right up ahead. He's been asking about you all afternoon. Oh, 
Hi there. Hi, sweetie. I'm here now. Mom, is that you? Yes, dear. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I feel like I'm moving. Like we're in a car. Are we in a car? <laughs> Face though. No, dear. Oh, okay. How are you? I'm feeling all right. I talked to some nice people today. I got to eat some noodles. Noodles. Yes, dear noodles. <laughs> Mom, did I dream what happened to Dad? I'm sorry, dear. That wasn't a dream. That's what I thought. But... I want you to know that no matter what, I will always be there for you. Hi, Growlcore. Your kitty seems really interested in the game. Awesome. It's a good one. But mom, who's going to be there for you? Oh, child. <laughs> Well, that's gonna go well. Mommy, where are you? I'm so scared. Oh, I just walked right through it. Okay. <clears throat> this is why you don't go with strange goth boys off into the depths of the hospital, my child. Especially when they only visit you at 2 a.m. I might never get to leave. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Go to sleep. What are you doing? I know what it feels like to have someone leave you. The person who left me did have a choice. He had the chance to come home, and he didn't. Why didn't you come home? Go to sleep. Who could be more important than your own family? He left us alone. But now I'm going to leave her too. I'm not ready. I don't want to leave. Yeah, I thought that he might just be his, his dark feelings. Oh, look. He's an egg of despair. My baby, can you hear me? sleep. Hey, Mom. Oh, pills. Let's go take some courage first. Nope, I guess not. Hello. When you're asleep, you don't feel lonely. It's okay, sweetie. I'm right here. You're not alone at all. Oh, you didn't like that. Hello? Throw the pills at him. Okay. So, it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to feel that way. Hopefully I've been telling him these things all along. I'm really, really scared. My dear, I don't want you to worry. Everything is going to be okay. How can you say that? It's not okay. I'm not okay. I can hear what the doctors say about me. I know I'm all messed up inside. Sweetie, remember what I told you before. You're in good hands. Your doctor is one of the best doctors in the whole world. The hospital is giving you treatments that have helped many other children get 100% better. You're not weak. You're the strongest boy I know. You're my little hero. I'm too weak and too sick to ever help anyone. I'm no hero. My, my, my kid gets in these loops, too, where he just he can't be comforted. They say Dad was a hero, but why did he leave us? Why did he not love us? Oh, sweetie, your dad loved you so very much. If he loved us, then why didn't he come home? They gave him the chance to leave the power plant, but he didn't take it. I know in my heart that your dad believed this was the best way to protect us. 
who's going to be there for you? When dad died, I really wanted to help you, but if I die, I can't get, if I can't get stronger, I can't even do that. Sweetie, you're not going to die. The doctors are doing everything they can to help you get better. Your latest test shows so much improvement. I know it's tough, but we've got to try to stay positive. We're going to get through this together. But what if I do die? That's not going to happen. Okay, Mom, clearly, you got to explore this other possibility with him. Okay? If he does die, what are you going to do? <laughs> you gotta, You can't just... Sh- He's going to keep thinking about it. you got to talk to him. But what if it does happen? It's not going to happen. What if it does, Mom? I'm sorry, Mom. I don't think I can believe anymore. Let's try and talk again. No, Mom, you got to talk. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't think I can believe anymore. Okay. I guess we're singing. All my friends. Well, your friends, not mine. Close your eyes, it is time for you to tell the world tonight. It might be dark inside, but there are still stars shining in the sky. Close your eyes, I am here. to heal ourselves too I'm glad they included that you're awake <clears throat> oh please please don't leave me I'm all alone I'm all alone I'm so afraid yummy yeah, I mean, it's okay. You're not alone. I'm not going to leave you. You're not? No, I'm not. It's okay. We're in this together. You're a part of me, and I'm a part of you. From the very beginning until the very end. Okay? Okay. Self-acceptance, you guys. I love these games. <laughs> they can just... Ugh. They don't get enough credit. Thank you. Oh, yep. Thank you, Olo. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you, too. They still label me as boy, though. Is my name not Yummy? It's been a long day, huh? The longest day of my life. We're almost there, sweetie. We're almost there. Come on. 
Let's go find Morizora and get you that wish. Thank you, Mom. <gasps> what you gonna wish, kiddo? Thank you. ready to visit Morizora? If you need to talk to anyone or finish anything, it's probably best to do it before we see him. I'm ready. Are you completely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, sweetie, let's go. I don't know what I wouldn't have done already. I mean, Sue's gone. I can't give her any more marbles. <clears throat> would you have? So, you're the one who woke me. Yes? I've heard the things that are deep and rumbling, yeah. I've heard the things that are too... Uh, I've heard the things that are too quiet for the ears. I listened to their fears. I learned what they longed for. I learned their hopes and their dreams. And I wanted those things for them. I really, really wanted those things for them. Then you have completed the challenge of the forest. And I will grant you one wish. So tell me, young one. What is it that you wish for? I can't... I can't get her one. <laughs> and keep it without choking. My wish... Yes, what is your wish, my child? I wish... I wish for a ride on your magical boat. I want to sail to Raquen. Very well, then. Your wish is granted. Is it? Oh, what a boat! Unicorn dragon! Mom? I can't believe we're actually here. Unicorn Draco- A Dracorn, I like that. It's been a very long journey. You did great. Oh, Mom. You're my brave little warrior. The reason I go on, no matter what, I will never ever stop loving you. Boy, now she gets to lose everything. But they'll be all right. Never forget that, okay? And promise me you'll keep being brave. Keep shining your light. Mom, I want you to know that your kind heart and your gentle spirit, those are such special gifts. Mom, I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you so very much, my baby. Mom! Yes, dear. Oh. You're my hero. Oh, you guys. <laughs> promise me you'll be strong for me. I promise. I love you, Mom. I love you. <laughs> He's not there. That makes me happy.
very good game. Bravo, good job. That was very well done. I had some gripes about gameplay early on, but I mean, the story always trumps any little quirks in the gameplay that comes along, I think. So I wonder if Laura is the one that sings it too. I don't know. Who's here? Oh, everyone's just having a picnic. Okay. Oh, and Gemma. She's back! She woke up! <laughs> They're all going through getting all the, the bad shrews out. It had babies. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Very cool. I never got to like do anything with those sheep. I thought that the, the sheep should do something more. I don't know. Rupert, how good to see you again. Where's Monsieur Bird? Wait, is he gone? I mean, he got on the boat, I suppose, but Gemma was there. Gemma? Gemma. That's a big teacup. <laughs> yes. There he is, Monsieur Bird in all his glory. And he accepted his little kid playing in his band. Happy day. Actually, Little Buds wasn't his. He was Rupert's son, wasn't he? Oh, that's fun. Floof. Hey there, Tony. <clears throat> of course they're using it like that. Oh, she's off. Goodbye. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Oh, shoot. Man. Oh, no. I missed it. <laughs> I didn't see who the singer was because it said as above instead. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> Dang it. I'll have to go back and see who it was. <laughs> yeah, and game testers. That just showing that she eventually got okay. I think. That's why there were two beds. One kiddo left. didn't really did it mention the brother and like the first thing I think maybe I don't know playing thank you for making it Sarah I love these experiences fantastic well that worked out perfectly for me because baby has me tired tonight so I'm just going to end stream here, and I'll send you over to Zori, who's playing Apex Legends tonight. Oh, 
thank you so much. Thank you for dropping in. It was a fantastic experience. Yep, and you guys have a good night. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Super She. I really appreciate that. <laughs> You've got a, <laughs> you've got a wrong one uh, emoji. That's awesome. Wait a minute. Hang on. Are you are you Sarah? That's really cool. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>